I love group therapy. That's because it can help you feel more connected, less isolated, and amplify your results, which is something that we all need a little bit of after this wild 2020 year. Am I right? <laughs> My name is Mallory Grimsey. I am a real life mental health therapist and I help teens improve their mental health. And that's what this channel is all about. If that is something that you're into, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. That way you're notified every single time I post a new video. Okay, so group therapy. If you're not already familiar, group therapy is really very similar to individual or one-to-one -one counseling, though there's three reasons why I really, really love group therapy, especially for teenagers. You are going through a time in your life where you are separating from your family of origin. So that is your parents, your siblings, basically your nuclear family, and creating your own adult life separate from them. This is totally normal. We call this individuation because you are learning to become an individual and create your own family unit moving forward in whatever capacity that looks like. But when you're going through that process, it can be hard to know how to connect with others who understand what you're going through and can also help you learn how to know and connect with yourself. So group therapy offers an experience where you can connect with other people who are all going through similar life circumstances and help each other out. Not only does it help you connect with each other, it helps you connect with yourself because you can use your own experiences to share and help others and realize like, hey, I got this whole life thing under control a lot more than I was giving myself credit for. Now I know as a teenager, it can feel really lonely. When we're going through so many changes and circumstances that are out of our control, it can feel really emotional and frustrating. Who has ever been called a moody teenager? I'm gonna raise both my hands. <laughs> I think that is a cliche for a reason because it can be quite true. But you've got a lot of things going on and when we are stressed out, we become emotional. When we become emotional, sometimes we get told that we're being crazy in a negative way, not in a fun way. And that can really feed negative thoughts and energy towards ourselves. When we feel bad about ourselves, we tend to isolate from others because we can't imagine that if we don't feel good about ourselves, how other people could appreciate and feel good about us too. So one of the reasons that I really love group therapy for this is it can actually help you feel less isolated. It can help to normalize other experiences and realize like, oh, this doesn't just happen to me. Other people have this happen too. And by learning from each other, you can learn new perspectives and ways of overcoming those challenges. It's really cool. I just love the group therapy. <laughs> so you probably don't even realize this, but you participate in groups all the time. Your family is a group. Your soccer team is a group. We even have group projects in our classes. So we are constantly forming and creating groups. We just don't always call them groups in the same way we call group therapy groups. One of the things that can really help amplify your results is by participating in a group therapy process because whatever you are learning and growing and internalizing from your experiences, you're doing that with a group of individuals in vivo. So as you are learning the skills, you are also practicing them with each other, which is really, really cool. <laughs> Plus, when you hear from other people's perspectives and experiences, not only are you just getting the therapist's viewpoint, you're getting several other people's viewpoints as well. So that can really expand your perspective and your thinking beyond your own experience and allowing for other people's experiences to inform your choices moving forward or to help you solve problems in creative ways that you never would have thought of before. It is totally normal to feel nervous and a little bit anxious if you're starting a new group therapy program or any sort of therapy experience, if you, especially if you've never done that before, which is why I created a whole video compilation about my best tips for anxiety. You can check that out right over here. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to share it. You never know who you could be helping in the process. Thanks for watching.